Hello again, Andy with Handy Andy. Welcome back to yet another one of our informational videos and this one's going to run through a whole bunch of typical homeowner repairs and this is a homeowner who found us in the neighborhood. We're up in Ackworth right now uh, and we're doing a bunch of stuff. Some of the things have already been done, some of them haven't. This window right here is really typical and we've already come in and repainted it. We replaced the brick mold on the right. The nose is this lower piece right here as it got rotted. Um, you'll, see, you'll see the fascia up here on the upper side. It's leaked at the roof line for a long time and because they never painted that edge it started rotting across and the water coming in from the back of the gutter you can actually see if you look see that blackness underneath the gutter lets you know it's pulled away and the water is actually coming behind the gutter so we'll end up repairing this this fascia and soften in the corner here and then as you come across the front and, and these are some of the more water prone homes you're gonna see this is stucco and synthetic stucco homes you can see some of our painters have been up here in the front poking around in here so my brother's been through this is a new nose it's a new sill here on the front window uh, and you'll see where the painters haven't gotten to it yet because I want to show it in the video see that right corner of the window right there the caulk has failed so the water's getting behind that coming down through here and rotting out down below and you kind of see what a painted uh, repair is going to look like this is a molding brick mold cut that was done by my brother and you can kind of see the angle cut right here shedding to the front we left it a little unfinished in the front so you can see the difference. If it were left like this, like a lot of contractors in Atlanta do, it's just going to rot both pieces. The trim piece is this piece down here that we replaced in, we pieced it in. This whole piece has been primed on all six faces, including the edge behind here and the lower edge here. So it's never going to rot out again. We're using premium materials and you kind of see this repair again here. The guys haven't come through yet because this will be um, primed with oil based primer. We wanted to leave that one raw to show you guys the repair so you can kind of see it. We get a lot of, of questions exactly how we're making these cuts. So this way you can see how we're doing it. See the angle here, how it, it sheds to the front? Any moisture that might get behind here is going to shed out to the front. Now this will be caulked and sealed as well. And you can see the angle cut here. But see how smooth that cut is? It fits really well. And once it's painted over with a coat of good paint, we use uh, Sherwin-Williams um, Duration. It's one of the best paints in the country along with Emerald, which is another one. You'll see a similar repair here. So as you go through this house, almost every one of his windows was rotted out and so we got two brick molds here we've got a nose here across the face you'll see a couple more difficult repairs up here in the front and these are these are repairs where this homeowner had the same thing um, a couple of contractors came out and said you really need to replace your whole door because they can't do these repairs so what you're seeing here is a, is a left inside and outside frame repair right inside outside repair and you'll see the the lower panels have also both been repaired you can see it a little more clearly here so these are rotted clear through and it's been the same process we've angle cut the pieces we hand plane these pieces to match the frame and it's a really nice repair once this is all painted up you will basically have a brand new door and you won't have any problems anymore the more difficult repairs that we get into is like the lower sash and frame of this huge arch window to replace this gothic arch window you're looking at probably about two thousand to twenty four hundred dollars versus he's looking at probably a $300 repair in the, the lower uh, part of the frame. You can barely see it, but my brother actually came through and routed that out. That's patched in with wood, and then you've got that custom cut nose right there. So this window will get all repainted and it'll be good as new. You'll see bay windows get abused something fierce, and you can kind of see on this window, I can't get close enough to it, but he's actually replaced, if you look closely in the right corner of that center window, that, that lower sash was rotted all the way through and the homeowner was told that he'd have to have a new window there. We've repaired the window. It's good as new. We'll prime it. We'll paint it. He's got a new sill across there. He's got a new nose there. And he's got brick mold repairs on either side. Same thing with this, this right-hand window. He didn't replace the sill, but he's got a new nose there. And he's got brick mold on either side. These pieces haven't been finished yet because we wanted to show you uh, how we do what we do so you can get a better appreciation for the cuts. Most of the contractors who are out here today they're not interested in making these kind of repairs. A, they weren't trained to do it. My brother and I have been in this business our whole lives. I'm a fourth generation contractor. Uh, and even though I don't get a chance to do it so much anymore, I, I can make these cuts as well. And now we're training guys to come into the program uh, and do what we do. So we've got a whole team of people that can do what we do. A lot of times we'll get into a job and my brother will then break out the ladders or one of the guys will break out the ladders and go through and see what we're looking at. <coughs> Excuse me. What you see here is he came through the window and this nose has been replaced all the way through. 
you can see this center right here is a new center new wood and again normally all the faces would be primed before we put it in so here they've only back primed the piece of the faces you don't see so it would show up in the video so you can get a really good feel for what it is see how smooth this finish is right here once it's painted it's good as new and you won't have to do anything with it when you're looking at these windows and we, we come up with this time and time again look at the lower sash in this window right here see where it's starting to rot see the gap right here in the frame it's never been caulked with anything other than paint it's, it's a little more pronounced on this side it's actually starting to rot in the window it's a little got a little bit of softness there so this homeowner is going to have to come through here now in this time you know this season and come in here and repaint this all the trim on the house and then you can wait till next season to repaint the whole house if you hand paint it with premium materials his house will be in great shape for a good 15 years some of the things that you see in these houses and, and you hear this from me time and time again the flashing is cut short here it should be way over here see where it's cut inside of the brick mold it's not rotted yet but it will be you can see where our crews come through here and clear caulk this with a clear caulk this little overage over here is, is from the previous contractors that have worked in the house it has nothing to do with with our guys so all this trim will get cleaned and repainted but you're getting to see the the carpentry at this level right now um, if we were to get up on a ladder you'd be able to see these windows right here were all rotted every one of these noses has been replaced things to look out for in your house you can't have tree limbs like this up against the house it's going to start damaging the shingles it'll lead to more rot everywhere around the house you really want to have a foot to two foot clearance all the way around your home and if you don't do that you're just creating more work for me so i appreciate you listening to me but if you don't i appreciate that too because eventually you're gonna be calling handy to do some more work for you we got a little bit of rot in this door jam down here and my brother will be coming this basement door and they'll knock that out tomorrow and then you'll see and we get into this a lot with people siding siding is a huge issue in atlanta everybody here spray paints nobody wants to caulk anything they don't use premium materials and i'm sorry but on the exterior home paying for the best quality job and the best quality materials it's just a smart investment on your part so this owner has lp siding and you can see if you get on the side of it right here as i go up to that gutter up there they didn't have kick out flashing that's a piece of flashing that'll divert the water between the edge see that gap between the gutter and the siding it would divert that water back into the gutter that's called kick out flashing it's cut into the siding and sealed so the water can't get between the two here it's run down and you can see the streaking see how pronounced those nail holes are those nails didn't move the siding swelled and as you look up the edges once you see six to seven lines in the siding your siding shot and you can see it up there so he's got rotted corner boards which you can see here and it's all the way up we'll actually replace the corner boards on both sides of this chimney the second stage of this project is to come through and replace all the siding on the chimney now he's gotten quotes from other guys that are telling him he's got to replace all of his siding He's got a few pieces like right here that got damaged but when you look at most of this siding if when he paints this house next si time he hand paints the house he won't have to replace the siding you're looking for the uniformity in the thickness of the siding and it's all in pretty good shape so uh, we're okay with all of that right there and again you can see see the gaps right here it seems real innocuous and just some little small thing but it's all these little things see how this has never been caulked it's never been caulked this this stick was replaced by another contractor at some point these are not new, new to the they're new to the house they're not original see here they never caulked they just put paint in it got a check went on downstream and left the homeowner with with a mess that he had to come back to so handy Andy's a really unusual shop in what we do we love what we do we're good at what we do we shoot these videos so the homeowners can see what we're doing in terms of repairs but also you as a potential client can get a feel for what we do and how we do it see all these gaps right in here if you don't caulk it if you just put paint in there that's going to last at most maybe a month maybe a couple weeks what you're paying for with paint and caulk in particular is that ability to expand and contract with the range of temperatures that we have here in the atlanta market but it's true the things that we talk about here are true anywhere in the country you want to have good quality work you want to have people that stand behind it we're a plus rated with the better business bureau we've been out here in atlanta for 20 years i'm andy with handyandyhome.com we do everything so call us let us know what you need always a free estimate and you kind of see here water's been splashing off this forever you see the siding so we'll have to piece this in right here but most of the siding in the back is in pretty good shape you got a door frame over here we get these all the time they're not supported from below and see where it's shifted this whole piece is gone right here so we'll actually repair this rot put it back together and he will be good as new garage doors we talk about all the time 
And this is a great example. He actually replaced this garage door. This lower panel was replaced by another contractor who did a nice job with it. The issue we have is he didn't caulk anything. So in the couple of weeks it was sitting here, we got a lot of rain. And I don't know if you can see the shadowing in here in the lower panel, but it's already starting to absorb water into this masonite panel. You can see it here as well. But that's a brand new lower panel. So we've caulked it now. It's been painted. His house will be in great shape. You can kind of see on this shrub right here, it's right into the stucco. It needs to be cut back a foot or two from the house. So if you've got a landscaper, suggest that they do it. If not, we come out for a job, just have us do it. I'm Andy with Handy 80, 770-912-2829. Happy to work with you or answer any questions you might have. We'll see you at the next house. Take care for now. Bye.